Generative AI could add the equivalent of $2.6 trillion to the 4.2, well, upwards of $4.4 trillion to the global economy here. So that's the range here, according to a 2023 McKinsey study. And employers went in on the action, according to the online company Coursera. There have been 634,000 enrollments in AI-related courses in 2024 so far. That's the equivalent of four enrollments per minute, up from one enrollment per minute in 2023. For more on the demand for AI courses and some tips for people trying to get into an AI field, we've got Jeff Maggiancalda, who is the Coursera CEO, good friend of the show. Jeff, great to see you, and thanks for uh, stopping in to really break down the demand for some of these AI-related skills. I, I believe you and I had talked about this in the past, trying to get a sense back in 2023 of what that uptick was looking like, and we've got some more fresh numbers to put on top of that. What are you seeing over at Coursera? Yeah, we're, what we're seeing, Brad, is that the uh, the impact of generative AI is starting to ripple through from just people talking about it to people starting to use it and actually train people for it. Uh, there are a lot of statistics that show that employers are valuing people who have AI skills. They're looking to upskill their own people. And they're saying uh, that they're, they would rather have an inexperienced person who knows AI than a more experienced person who doesn't. So as you said, we've seen our enrollments in generative AI go to four enrollments in generative AI courses per minute in 2024. That's up four times since 2023. And so with that in mind, how are you going to make sure that for all the places Coursera is, because I mean, you've got partnerships with universities, you've of course, of course got your core platform. You know, what does that do for pricing when you have a surge in demand like this? Yeah, you know, we have found that the way we've architected our uh, generative AI capabilities on Coursera, and we do a number of things. We, we have used AI to translate courses into 22 different languages. So then now, Pretty much anybody in the world who speaks any language can take any course on Coursera. Uh, that was a one-time translation. We updated a little bit over time, but, but not super costly. The way that we do the coach, which is the AI assistant, is we really get the answers largely from the content in the course. And this really reduces the cost that we have to spend on using the large language model. So I think the, the way that companies build their, their, their generative AI tools and services and how efficiently they use these models is really a big factor. So we're not seeing a huge operating expense that's coming from providing these AI services to learners around the world. Is, is there a reason that you see so many people trying to get into AI and generative AI specific courses even? Is it you know to get a promotion or is it to make a career pivot or a switch or just figure out what the heck's going on with it. If there is kind of a, a survey that you're having people upon entry or even exit of a program give as to why they're or a reason as to why they're so interested. Yeah, so we see this at a lot of different levels. At the institutional level, there are a lot of motivations. Businesses are really focused on productivity gains. I mean, that's what we're hearing is businesses are saying, we can really produce higher quality outputs for lower cost if we embrace generative AI. That's what businesses are doing. Now, universities as institutions, they are being overwhelmed by generative AI because employers are telling them, we want your graduates to have AI skills when they graduate. Students are saying, I wanna learn generative AI skills. There was just a, a, a survey from Cengage that said 77% of the faculty do not feel that their university is prepared to teach students generative AI. So it's just coming so fast and so big that institutions are trying to respond to that. So for institutional readiness, we're definitely seeing that. Now on the individual side, there's kind of tail of two cities. In, emer in emerging labor pools, a lot of folks in India, Southeast Asia, Latin America, they're saying, if I learn these generative AI skills, I can get remote jobs with com companies in the US, companies with Europe, others around the world. In the US, employ uh, employees are starting to say, if I don't learn these skills, I might lose my job to somebody who's working in a different country. So there's a, there are gonna be winners and losers in the labor market based on who learns how to use generative AI. You know, just while we've got you here, Jeff, uh, I, I took a look at the stock this morning and, and I honestly was surprised that it, it had drifted to this level here. What do you think that investors are trying to best understand about the pivot that Coursera is trying to make right now, especially given some of the analyst coverage that, that's been frankly unfavorable for the company. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think what it is is uh, the way I like to think of it is like a big a big tidal wave. People know that there's a tidal wave coming, and unless you can get your surfboard to the right place at the right time and, and ride that wave, it will it could go under you if you miss it. It could crash over you if you if you're a little bit too late. The basic thing the Wall Street is saying is, is this going to be a threat or an opportunity for Coursera and EdTech? Either it's going to be something that is a very big opportunity because so many people around the world are going to need new skills and so many institutions around the world, businesses and campuses and governments are going to have to redo the way their whole institutions work. If it's more of an opportunity, then this is going to be very positive. If it's if it could potentially commoditize all content and AI does the learning for everybody, well, that would clearly be a threat. And I think Wall Street's trying to figure out, is this more opportunity or is it more threat? Clearly, we see the opportunity side of it, which is using AI to better educate people so they're more proficient in using AI in their jobs. Certainly. Jeff, it's great to catch up with you. Thanks so much for taking some time with us here on Yahoo Finance. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Jeff Maggioncaldo, who is the Coursera CEO.